Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract integers. Now when it comes to subtracting integers, we're actually going to add the opposite. And we have four examples here that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have six minus negative four. So let's add the opposite. So we start with a positive six, and we add the opposite of negative four, which is a positive four, and six plus four gives us 10. And that's our final answer, a positive 10. Now that answer may look incorrect because if you think about it, we started with a positive six and this is a subtraction problem and we somehow ended up with a positive 10. So we increased in value, although this was a subtraction problem. So that kind of goes against what we typically think when it comes to subtraction. And that's because when you subtract a negative, you are increasing in value. And you can think of it like this, and I still remember this from when I learned about subtracting integers. So when you subtract a negative, think of it like this, taking away or subtracting debt, which is a positive or a good thing. So you are increasing in value. So something to think about, and I do have a video where I go through subtracting integers using number lines, and that video can help with visualizing what's going on within these problems and just give a better overall understanding of subtracting integers. So let's move on to number two, where we have a negative five minus three. So let's add the opposite. So negative five plus the opposite of a positive three is a negative three. So we're starting at negative five and we're adding negative three. So we are decreasing in value. So we are going to end up with an answer of negative eight. Let's move on to number three, where we have negative one minus negative nine. Negative one, and then add the opposite. So the opposite of negative nine is a positive nine. Negative one plus nine, well, that's going to give us a positive eight for our answer. So remember, when we subtract a negative, we actually increase in value from what we started with. For example, number three, negative one we started with and we increased by a positive nine there. We increased by nine to give us an answer of a positive eight. And lastly, number four, negative eight minus negative seven. Add the opposite. The opposite of negative seven is a positive seven. So negative eight plus seven gives us a negative one. So there you have it, there's how you subtract integers. Use the strategy of adding the opposite. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.